Let me give you the lowdown of what's contained in this video. That way you can find what you need as quickly as possible. Okay, the first part of this video is basically um, an introduction to why we're doing this, which is basically uh, you end up using this type of method, uh, this simple type of calculation. It's almost anything you do, okay? Uh, part two is uh, explaining to you what it is that uh, I was doing in my own project, right? And if you've been following, uh, following my blog, uh, following the site, you know exactly what it is that I'm doing. If you're new to this, then uh, you probably want to take a look at uh, part two, which is explaining to you uh, what my project is and how I'm going to use math in my life to get my project done, okay? The next part, part three, is basically collecting data, uh, setting the parameters, and that's one thing you're going to end up doing uh, when you use math in your life, which is basically obtaining data, and once you obtain data, then you can do your calculations and figure out how, um, how something applies in your life. So part three is basically sort of going through and collecting the data that I needed to to collect to be able to do my calculations. Part four is the meat of this video, which is basically going through uh, the calculations using ratios to manage my time, to manage my project. And uh, we end up using a few different techniques in this, in part four, which is basically cross multiplication. Some of the most basic uh, operations that we use in mathematics, which is uh, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, okay? So part four is basically the meat of, um, of what's contained in this video and uh, how we end up doing the calculations. And uh, part five is basically some additional calculations I ended up doing. And that's the way it works, right? Whenever you collect data, whenever you set parameters, you might have an idea of what you want to use that data for. What we did in part four, we did doing the calculations. I wanted some answers, so I did some calculations, got some answers for myself, right? But with any data set, you can always do additional calculations. And that's the way it works with science. That's the way it works with economics. That's the way it works with anything, right? As soon as you have a data set, you can do whatever you want with that data because as I said before, math is very personal and how you end up using mathematics is really up to you. And if you have a data set, you can change your techniques, change your methods and uh, do a whole bunch of different calculations with your data set, okay? And that's what part five is about. It's just me going in there, you know, going to my data and collecting some additional information, right? And part six is basically an afterthought of uh, what it is that we just went through and why we ended up doing it, okay? Now, one of the places that uh, you, everybody at some point in their life will or should use mathematics in their lives is basically time management to try to figure out how long it's going to take you to do a project, to put a proposal together, to uh, create music, to do artwork, to cook your food, to do, to do whatever you want to do. There's going to be some point in your life where you're going to have to manage your time. Okay. And that's what we're going to go through right now. We're going to look, look at it in the most simplistic form, most basic form. And this principle, you can basically take and apply to some of the most complicated time management projects that you can get involved in. And time is a huge aspect of almost every project you're going to get involved in, right? You know, um, basically time is money, they say, right? You know, my dime, my time, my dime, right? And that's what we're going to do right now. When I decided to you know, create the language of mathematics and uh, just uh, create a dedicated site to host all the math videos. I, you know, I had about 140 videos that I'd already done teaching, teaching math. Now what I had to do is go along and re-edit all these videos and load them up, load them up to their own channels and load them up uh, to this site and organize all the material based on a table of contacts and index and all this jazz, right? And Basically, I, I consider the project got kick-started when I put out my first video. And my first video was sort of a little greeting video that appears, you know, on the, the, on the right-hand column of the site. And this is basically the video. And I estimated that it was going to take me two to three months to load up all these videos, okay? And before, okay. And again, this might take me a couple of months to do, two or three months to do. Uh, so basically I estimated it was going to take me two to three months to do this video, uh, to load up all the previous videos I'd done to, you know, their pr appropriate YouTube channel and load them up to, you know, organize them in, 
in this, on this website. Now, that video I loaded up on February 8th, and right now we're sitting on February 25th, right? So it's been 14, 15, 16, 17 days that, you know, I said it was gonna take me two to three months to do a project. Since that time, I've, you know, if, if I go to my YouTube channel videos, I've loaded up 50 videos, right? And I needed to load up 140 videos. So let's go and do a little calculation and try to figure out if I'm on schedule. And this is basically what I need to do right now. So I figured I'd do it, uh, film it while I'm doing it. So I've done 50 videos out of 140, right? It's taking me 18 days to do 50 videos. And I need to figure out if I'm on schedule with my two to three month, you know, time frame to do this project. So what we're gonna do is create sort of a, a unit conversion, an anchor point, and use ratios to do this calculation. And if you wanna figure out how to do this, because I'm not gonna go through and explain all the whole process, the whole thought process, what you're gonna to have to do is hit up series four, the units and ratios section, because that's where we really delve into this stuff pr pretty deep, okay? Now it's taking me 17 days to do 50 videos, and that's what we're gonna do right now. This is our conversion, our, our unit conversion anchor point. So it's gonna be 17 days is equal to 50 videos. 17 D, D for days, is equal to 50 V, V for videos, right? And these are our units. D is our days, representing days, that's a unit, and V is our video representing videos or units of videos, right? So the ratio conversion, the ratio that I'm gonna set up is gonna be D over V, right? So I'm gonna use days over videos, okay? And our anchor conversion point here is 17 is equal to 50. So 17 days, I'm gonna put 17 up here, divided by, right? And that's my anchor ratio. I'm gonna use this thing because I'm gonna assume for now that I'm gonna to continue to go at the pace that I've been going, okay? So, that's going to be, I need to figure out, the D was on top, the videos are on the bottom, 17 to 50, right? 17 days to do 50 videos. Now I need to figure out how many days, I'm gonna call this X, is gonna take me to do 140 videos, right? So. This is the unit conversion we have. This is the ratio that we're gonna, you know, we've set up, and this is the equation we're gonna need to solve, okay? So what we're gonna end up doing is doing a little cross multiplication, and we talked about cross multiplication in series 3A. So what we're gonna do is take the 140, uh, cross multiply that guy up here, and we're gonna take 50, and Cross that mul cross multiply that guy up there, right? So we're gonna have 17 times 140 is equal to 50x. So we got 17 times 140 is equal to 50x. So to solve for x, we're just gonna divide both sides by 50. So this guy kills that guy, boop. And this, we're just gonna use a little calculator, you know, pull up a little calculator and do our calculation. So it's gonna be 17 times 140 divided by 50, which is gonna be 47.6, okay? So X is gonna be 47.6. So 140 videos is gonna take me 47.6 days. Now, do we need the 0.6? Not really, so we're gonna round this up, so it's gonna be 48. So based on the pace that I'm going at right now that you know, I did 17 video, uh, it took me 17 days to do uh, 50 videos. If I go at this pace, it's gonna take me a total of 48 days to do 140 videos, right? Now I've already gone through 17 days of that, right? I've already gone through 17 days, got 50 videos done. It was gonna take me 48 days to do 140 videos, right? But I already got 50 videos done and 17 days of that, right? So I'm gonna to have to subtract 17 from 48 to figure out how many days I have left, right? So based on my original estimate of, you know, it taking me two to three months to do the videos, I'm ahead of schedule. So I just wanna figure out how many more days I have left to do the remainder, you know, to do the 140 videos, or whatever's left of the 140 videos to do, right? Which is 90 more videos to do. So let's create another thing here. So 48, 
So 48 minus 17, then that's going to be 31. So I have another month, 31 days of video editing to do. And that's, you know, again, that's ahead of my schedule. You know, I'm doing this in less than two months. So I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the pace that I'm going with the project. And I've gotten a fair bit done so far. Okay. And this is me checking back on what I had set up for, for me to do, my time management for this project. And this is something that, um, you know, almost everyone needs to do at some point in their lives. And if you're involved with a lot of projects, if you're doing a lot of projects on your own, this is something pretty important to do. Uh, set up a time for yourself. You know, give yourself a certain amount of time to do something. If it's study for a course, if it's, if it's get a project done for, for school, if it's get a personal project done, this is my personal project, personal project done. If it's a project that you need to get done for work, you're gonna have to constantly go back and just check just to make sure. You know, if it's a project that takes anything longer than a few weeks to do, you're gonna have to check up on yourself because what's gonna happen that at some point you're gonna get to the end of the time frame you put on it and you're gonna go, oh no, I'm not done. Okay. To be able to make sure you get done on time, you need to go back. This is what corporations do. This is what people do that have large projects they need to get done. What I could have done to budget my, my time to, to make sure I got the project done on time, okay, was to figure out how many videos I needed to edit a day to make sure I got 140 videos done in two months or three months, right? So I, I could have given myself a range. Now, two months is 60 days, right? And three months is 90 days in general. Now, there's 140 videos I needed to get I needed to edit. So what you could do is go 140 and divide this by 60 days and that's two months. So 140 divided by 60. Let's figure out what that is. That's 2.3. So with this we got, so if I wanted to, you know, get done in two months, I needed to edit 2.3 videos a day. On the long end of it, it was 140 divided by 90, three months. And that's 1.5, 1 1.6 videos, 1.6 videos a day. So if I was going to budget uh, my time based on the videos and the number of videos I needed to edit per day, it would have been 2.3 videos I needed to edit to stay on my two month schedule or 1.6 videos I needed to edit to stay on my 90 day schedule. And um, that's math in real life. That's where you end up by using mathematics in your life. And it, it doesn't require anything other than you knowing how to deal with fractions, you knowing how to deal with an equal sign, right? Subtraction, right? Just the most simplistic forms of uh, mathematics, right? Using, using cross multiplication, understanding what units and ratios mean we're setting up an anchor right and we've talked about this and we're going to talk a lot more about these things okay uh hope that makes sense and uh, again this is just uh, simple mathematics in your life that at some point maybe you'll end up doing because at some point in your life you're going to work on a project um, that you you care about right that you want to get done and um trust me if if, if when you end up doing that uh you you really want to uh, want to make sure you do it properly and one way to do that is introduce mathematics um, into your life and figure out you know your your schedule your time uh, you know but put everything together and uh, just make sure you're you're staying on top of something that you care about to get done okay And for those interested that uh, you end up watching this video, I did end up getting the project done within three months. And uh, that's first the first phase of the project, which is basically setting up the website, uh, re-editing, uploading all the videos, and uh, you know, getting all the content on there that we needed to get on there. So you know, the platform was all set up for me to do what I'm, what I'm doing right now, which is the second phase of the, the project, which is basically going into the shooting season. And, uh, you know, creating more videos. And we'll talk a lot more about this uh, in future videos when we get a fair bit of chunk of uh, work done. And uh, we'll, we'll go a little bit deeper into phase two of uh, the language of mathematics and math in real life, okay? 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.